probably one thing. He didn't have to worry about that 21 car. No, Harvick will get uh, owner points and money. One back. Coming Five to the white. Car single file. Casey Kane leading the outside, outside line. Here we go, boys. Money lap coming up. One to go. Oh, here you go. Round they go. Big right flag. Now, around goes John Wood, the 20 of Denny Hamlin, and the zero of Curtis Davis. The question will be, did the yellow come out before Tony Stewart took the white flag? If it did, they will go to the... Let's come around and see what happens here. Hold on. They'll Get go to the scoring here. loops Get across the here. racetrack, and we'll have I a green-white checker I'm telling you, I took restart. the white flag. You never do the yellow until afterward. Well, you... Copy that. That's what I saw. Let's see what happens here. You heard Tony's view of it. The key is not the flagman. It's the caution lights. That's what they go off of. When do the lights come on? If Stewart had passed under the white flag, it's the race. Everybody be cool now. Let's just wait and see what happens here. That's a that's good advice. We'll wait for NASCAR to sort this out as to whether or not it's over or we have a green-white checker finish. Well, let's take a look at it and see what happened here. This is back in the pack. Cars get a little loose, start bouncing off each other. John Wood in the 47. Curtis now, Davis. That's pretty much at pit road entrance. That tells me that Tony had to be at the line. I don't know if he was passed or not. Checkered flag has waved for Tony Stewart. He and Kevin Harvick drafted together to the front to win. Now what's, what's Lamar going to do? Oh, he's got to stay behind 33. Oh, yeah. He's got to push Tony Stewart to 50 lane if he can. That would make Mrs. Harvick happy, right? Here comes Boyer on the outside. Coming to get the white flag. Last lap at Daytona. And Elliott Saddles yeah. in 90 car. All of his problems, there he is, trying to win on the last lap. Got the lucky dog three times today, I believe. Elliott Knight spot that lap. I can't believe it made it back start finish line like this. Down the back stretch for the final time. Half a lap to go. Stewart leads. Lamar, the rookie, second. There you go, come on. Boyer inside come on, of Lamar. They're down there, will you? Come on. Come on. I don't think he's got enough time. Mike Dillon trying to urge his driver to the line. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Casey Compton into the wall. Michael Walker oh, is around. Denny Hamlin hard to Elliott Sadler. Stewart takes the checkers. The caution, obviously, oh. another hard hit. Yeah. He's right there. Well, Kyle Busch did anyway. And that was a great block for Kyle Busch. He hadn't, if he hadn't thrown that block, he wouldn't have a shot at it. Yeah, that's right. Now, that was a block. That wasn't protecting your position. That's, that was a block. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which Here's is legal Luke. in this form of motorsport. White play. One lap to go. Tony Stewart, can he hang on? Well, he's going to be in good shape now because Martin Truex just went to the inside of Kyle Busch. He, and that's the best thing Tony Stewart could see in his mirror is these guys get side by side. And left. Yeah, he's almost got too big of a lead there. He got a run coming down this back stretch. Vickers, remember how, how much he can do, what he can do if he gets a little momentum. There's Vickers trying to find a way down to the inside, but he's got no one to help him down there. Well, that car sat on the pole for a reason. It's because it was the fastest one here. They're going to have a really hard time because they're really not willing to work. Everybody's trying to get every spot they possibly can. A couple of Toyotas and a Chevrolet. Earnhardt Jr. back in third spot. Tony Stewart trying to hang on. Tony Stewart, the pole setter, will come down and win the season opener at Daytona. You are the best at this track. You are the best. Tony Stewart will come down and take the white flag here in California. But we're not going to have a green-white checker, so they've got that part of it out of the way. Stephanie, bring it home, baby, bring it home. Final lap here on this two-mile racetrack. What a dominating day for Tony Stewart. Began the day with a seventh-place finish in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. There is Kyle Busch. Does he have enough fuel to finish in the second position? Looks like he's going to. Out of turn four.
Tony Stewart will win back to back in NASCAR nationwide competition to kick off the 2008 season. Hey, buddy, you just led 136 out of 150 <laughs> laps. Man, I love having you in my race car. Great job, guys. I'm real proud of every one of you. Day, Alabama. And that's why these NASCAR fans are on their feet. They love it. They know what's about to happen, folks. Cinch up your seat belts and home on the sofa. It's going to be a good one here in the final three laps. What they were talking about with Tony was to make sure that you know, he, when he goes to hit the gas right here in just a second, that his uh, carburetor responds and he can get a good run to, to start this. Green flag waves. Greg Biffle right glued to the rear of Dale Earnhardt Jr. How long do you wait? How long does Earnhardt Jr. wait and where does he make that move? Yeah, I think now with this situation with the going just going back green, as soon as Junior can feel that push and get that opportunity, I think that he goes. So he's going to take the first opportunity, like you said, with that momentum. And you see these guys bump drafting down the straightaway. Entering turn three, they will come out of turn four. Remember, the start finish line is all the way down in turn one. As they come down this time, it will be the white flag. Tony Stewart now pulls him by two car lanes. Yeah, but normally Junior had been staying right on Tony's bumper, but he knows he's got to get back and get get that help from behind to get that run at this point. And that's what he's done is back off there a little bit white to get Greg right Biffle on go. his bumper to get that push. He should have enough momentum to get beside the 20 car by the time they get to the back stretch. He's backed off to get some help in the draft, but they're now scattering too wide behind him. Here he comes at a turn two. Did he get enough momentum? Can he get enough momentum? Here they come. Here he comes on the outside. Listen to this crowd as Dale Earnhardt Jr. runs door to door with Tony Stewart. Can he stay there? Well, they both got help now, so that didn't work in Junior's favor. Check out Lethal on the outside. You're still they clear. Are they were three wide. Now they're four wide. Line. Back to eighth position. Start finish line is all the way down in turn one. Will they have a shot? Tony Stewart trying to hold on. David Stremme trying to stay in second spot. Here they come. Boys, they want to Talladega. Stewart takes the win at Talladega for the very first time in his career. Had a mistake, and both Bluer won that race. But are the rest of the guys going to run out of fuel? That's the big key right now. And what about Todd Bodine? He's got nothing to lose. He runs full time in the NASCAR Truck Series in the 03 back there. He's only his first start here with his Jermaine Brothers entry. Can he get there? He's a former Darlington winner. Let's see what's going to happen. Rudeman back there fourth. How about Stephen Wallace, a 20 year old in fifth, trying to get back to back top fives? Fans on their feet at Darlington. Green flag waves. Here they come. Two laps to go. It'll be white flag this time by. Thus far, everyone coming up to speed. Fuel doesn't seem to be a problem, but he's still got a lap and a half to go. Glenn Boyer still staying in touch here. Well, you see David Rudeman back there really working at back bumper at Todd Bodine. He's trying to pick up that spot and Stremme underneath Stephen Wallace for a position. Teammates side by side for fifth spot. Stremme in the 64, Stephen Wallace in the 66. Oh, these boys got to be careful right now. White flag's waving. Down the back straightaway. Tony Stewart trying to hang on and get his very first win ever at the track. Too tough to tame. The two-time NASCAR Sprint Cup champion will say from now on, I have won at Darlington Raceway. Great battle for third spot, Rudeman and Todd Bodine. And in Steven and Strebby fifth and sixth again for the second week in a row. And the NASCAR scoring says David Rudeman will get the third spot by inches over Todd Bodine. Godly, Godly, what a race at Darlington. Awesome. Dave Rogers. Uh, close to, to his home country of Canada, so some of, some of his countrymen will be here. And I, I imagine it was a pretty good uh, party in Montreal last night. I hope they didn't, I hope they didn't wreck enough stuff uh, like they do when the Canadians win. Right I know that. I just made Alan mad. <laughs> White flag here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Tony Stewart, a four-time winner. And we've got trouble, but the white flag is waving Biffle into the wall. And this white flag is waved white and yellow simultaneously. Simultaneously. 
Once you take the white. That's going to give us our 22nd different winner. And that's exactly what Tony said. I was laying out to let him talk, but once you get the white, the next one is the checkered flag. So Tony Stewart becomes the 22nd different winner in 22 races here in New Hampshire. Gives a wave to Denny Hamlin, his uh, Cup Series teammate on the it's checkered right, flag at Daytona. That thing looks awful strong out front. They're going to have a hard time even ganging it up and passing that car. I think they're going to make a run at him here, though. See Kyle oh, Busch trying to get bit. to his bumper. He's trying to loosen Tony Stewart up as much as he can. Two to go this time. Here they go, coming to the white flag. Tony Stewart has won three of the last four in Daytona. Can he hold off his former teammate, Kyle Busch? Carl Edwards is hungry behind him, and Clint Boyer, the champ, in fourth spot. Tony's smart enough. He knows he can't get too far away from those guys, that they'll get a big run on him, and then he won't be able to hold them off. Right here, it's going to happen. If it's going to happen right here, it'll do it on the straightaway. You see the guys just lining buddy. up behind him. He's obviously guarding the inside. If they're going to pass him, it's going to have to be to the high side. You can see Carl Edwards is just not right there. He's going to lose him up. Getting in the corner up. right here. He's going to lose his butt up. Kyle He's Bush got him loose. Gives him the shove and comes on the inside. Tony is digging back on the outside. Oh, wow. What a they, job. They Tony run. Stewart. So the whole here comes Where? Carl Edwards to the outside of Kyle Bush. He's going to be in second. He's got to run. Tony Stewart will come down and win it. Wow. Stewart, Edwards, Boyer, Kyle Bush, and Biffle. So Trixie's trying to get into this mix as well. He finds himself in that third position. And now these three cars, if they could pull away from these guys. Well, they got one lap coming up here, coming to the white flag. Who wins this race? White flag is out here at Daytona. White flag here. Two White and a half flag. miles. Will Justin Allgaier pull out and will Carl Edwards go with him? Does Tony Stewart win for the fifth time in six years? Does Justin Allgaier get his first ever nation nationwide series win? And does Carl win for the first time here at Daytona? Yeah, you can see Carl back up trying to get Paul Menard to give him a push here. He's going to try to go to the outside of Justin Allgaier. Somebody's got to get up there to give him some help because Tony's trying to pull away. Algar makes the block on Carl okay. Edwards. He's trying to get that push to go by Tony Stewart. They have the momentum. algar has got the run on the high side. Does he get any help? Not right now. Now he's going to look low. Here comes Meanwhile, Carl. going to crash. Kyle Busch, the 22 of Keselowski. While they spin, coming down the front straightaway, it's going to be all Tony Stewart. Checker flag is waving. Kevin Harvick trying to duck underneath. Who gets second behind Stewart? It is Edwards, Harvick third, Allgaier fourth. Woo! But it looks like they may get shuffled a little bit. I've got a question why they would make that change with just two laps to go. I would let it blow water out. If it got hot, so be it. I was really wondering if Tony Stewart was going to push someone else by his teammate up there with, uh, with Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Well, they've dropped back because the Joe Gibbs pair, Logano and Bush, have gotten around them. How about 10th and 11th through 12th? That's Michael Waltrip right along with Casey Kane. Then the two Fords back to the battle up front. White flag is out. Here we go. Who's going to win it at Daytona? We see Reese on the run. Look out. Okay, look out. Into the wall. He caroms off. Everybody He'll else gets by. He'll go back into the wall. The white flag's still out. No caution They're on the racing away. down into turn three. Junior's right on the bumper. Clint Boyer. Does he make history? Dale Earnhardt Jr. or does Clint Boyer win? And here comes Tony Stewart. He's getting the push from Castle. Coming out of four. This is really going okay, to be close. Here goes Junior to the inside. Junior to the inside. Inside, inside. Boyer takes the lead and pulls on oh. and at the stripe. It's Boyer. Stewart. Now Stewart. I thought it was Boyer, but Tony Stewart <laughs> does it. Wow. Holy God. Oh. They're saying Boyer's the winner. That was too close to call. I thought so, too. And then the scoring monitor came up and said, Stewart, it looked like Boyer had it. And NASCAR is saying it is Clint Boyer. Well, Tony Stewart Tony doesn't know that. It. Now now we're holding four. No, nope, it is okay, a that's now Tony Stewart. Behind them, Allgaier, Bowman, Pastrana. And by the way, Trevor Bain is back on the racetrack in that six car many laps down. Will he be the one that gets up there and drafts with Pastrana and changes his outcome around? Two laps to go. Green, green, green.
there's any time right here now to worry about teammates. It's just a matter of who you can get with, get yourself in a position to win the race now. Yeah, all you, that you see there was the speedy drive they put down for the crash. 99, Alex Bowman, 77, Parker Kligerman, two of the young drivers. Bowman only 19 years old, racing for the win, coming to the white flag. How about Carl Larson with Dale Jr. on his bumper? That might give him an opportunity. 32 and 88. Stewart to the lead with Hornish's help. Can Hornish stay tucked behind him for one more lap? White flag in the air at Daytona. Regan Smith to the outside. Keslowski pushing him. That's where that side draft comes into play. You can see Sam Hornish coming off the bumper of Stewart. Uh oh, the the center. Bowman pushed by Kligerman. Somehow they got out of it and saved him. Hornish now back behind Stewart. Up to the outside, two is Brian Scott. See, Tony Stewart just bull his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's going to have it, too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. He's bailing out of the car. Part of that car did pierce the catch fencing, shy of the start-finish line. You see some of the others involved. 